Multi-advertiser ads on and off in Facebook. Hi, my name is Brigitte Simonsen from Greatest Marketing Agency. So should you click on the little checkmark box on Facebook ads uh, for multi-advertiser ads? I'll go on my Facebook ad account and uh, explain it and uh, tell you more about it. So now here I'm in my ad account. So where do you find the multi-advertiser che ad checkbox? It's here on the, on the ad level. So if you go all the way down to the ad level, when you get to that, when you're setting up your ad, your ad, then you'll get to it, of course, after you set up the campaign and the ad set. So I have an ad set up already, so I'm just going to open it by clicking edit. And uh, then we scroll down. And it's here under ad setup. And here you can, uh, it's not clicked on by uh, default, but um, should you click it on or off? Facebook recommends it. Let's see what they say. Uh, incremental purchases uh, grew for businesses using multi advertisers ads. Um, that was measured by adding multi advertiser ads to existing Instagram feeds or ad campaigns with nearly 400,000 global advertisers across multiple verticals in the quarter three to 2022. These results are statistically significant at 90% and include campaigns for all eligible <laughs> optimizations, including offsite um, conversions and link clicks for Android and iOS uh, opt-in users. So, of course, Facebook recommends it because um, this allows them to actually earn more money. They give them more... Uh, placement because what it is uh, is um, your ad will be shown together right side by side with up to three other advertisers actually your competitors who have similar products similar services so on uh, for instance uh, on an instagram story your ad can be shown together with the three of your competitors and uh, so it's going to be very, very small, first of all, especially on a phone that most people are using when they are on Facebook. Um, and uh, also it's going to be shown next to your competitors. So I don't recommend using that, um, but you will get cheaper CPM, so cheaper ads, cheaper cost per thousand impressions, but uh, it's also less likely to convert. So people are less likely to actually purchase because it's just so small and you're being shown right next to your competitors. But if you have a really, really strong offer and um, uh, you have it very clearly displayed, so it's visible on a very, very small space, like if you have a 75% uh, off and you write that across your image, maybe it could be seen and it's a really strong offer, maybe you could uh, you have a stronger offer than uh, the three competitors that you're shown next to. So maybe it'll work then. So it's like with everything else with Facebook ads, it's worth testing, um, but uh, usually it's not the best option. So I hope this was useful. Comment below if you have any questions and give me a like if you like it. Subscribe for more. Share it with someone who might find it useful also. And if you're a coach or consultant and we actually specialize in getting clients for coaches and consultants, you can book a call with me to learn more. There's a link in the description. And uh, right now we have an offer where you only pay us when you get a paying client, but we won't have this offer for it forever. So book a call now to learn more about it. There's also some free downloads. There's a free Facebook ad template. If you want to run your own Facebook ads as a coach or, consult or consultant. And then we have an ebook, Mastering Social Media Marketing Strategies for Coaches and Consultants. That's more about organic marketing. So go ahead and download that. And also join our free Facebook group, also linked to in the description for that, uh, where you can learn more tips from me and other advertisers. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.